My heart was pounding going up there for the first round of eliminations. We had a tremendous amount of debacles going in the first round. If the car's running perfect, you're on pins and needles, but when they don't go down the racetrack and you gotta go up there for E1, oh my goodness. There's some strange coincidences that have taken place in the last seven days that it'll take me a long time to really understand. <laughs> You worried? I'm scared. This is going to be like walking up to a craps table with a blindfold on and setting your chips down and hoping that the dice roll right. That's what we got. If I was betting, I'd bet on the other guy. <laughs> he got it. Smoked the tires, he crossed the center line. I went like an 870. <laughs> Drag racing has nothing to do with cars, has nothing to do with motors and horsepower and ETs and speed. It has to do with digging a hole and climbing out of it. A lucky squirrel will get a nut sometimes. <laughs> what a piece of junk. We'll just leave it at we got lucky. This time, competition's stiffer. Stiffer every time. We gotta run the number two qualifier with the shadow. We don't have anything to outrun the guy that we're racing. We cannot outrun him. So we have to make him beat us. So we're going to make him be perfect. Hey, where's the collector valve at? I want to adjust the thing. <laughs> Hell yes. How many times have you guys raced against each other? Not a lot. Twice. Twice. First time in competition. Right? Yeah. He crushed me last time on a whole shot. Yeah, I ran. Yeah. This time it's time to flip the script. Yeah, it's, it's good to have a nice rival. Oh yeah, never hurts. Get somebody in the stands to, they can cheer, cheer about something. It's just a good time. It's gonna be the tough round. This round right here will decide the race. He's in the wall with a shadow. Everybody stay where you're at, please. Everybody stay where you're at. 388-208, please stay where you're at. Home of the Flying Canard, Stevie Ferris really wanted to win that one and he stayed in it way too long. And now like all the people leave and stuff and like the clinical depression sets in because every time you lose a race, it's really hard to swallow it. But when you crash one and lose, it is like the lowest of lows. It is real depression. You gotta decide whether you're gonna let it beat you or not. It's pretty tough. Anybody that's serious about it and does it for a living knows what I'm talking about.